October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and tonight we share the exclusive story of one local hospital where angels are part of the recovery protocol. As CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports, the Blue Angels program helps patients focus on their mental health ahead of surgery. I had breast cancer. I felt like my world ended. A difficult diagnosis for this Smithtown mom, followed by a daunting treatment, a double mastectomy and reconstruction. But during two surgeries at Glen Cove Hospital, Elizabeth Lubansky would have an angel with her. Just picture yourself at the beach. An angel in the form of nurse navigator Doreen Mather, who started the Blue Angel program after her life was suddenly upended. I was diagnosed with a stage three to four breast cancer. Um, at the time, my oncologist gave me about five years to live, and so I was like, you know, this can't be my story. The mother of four turned that story around, seeking out holistic approaches along with a double mastectomy and chemo. I'm going to have you close your eyes. And then I'm going to have you take a deep breath in. And now pays her recovery forward. Her angels in blue guide other breast cancer patients through dreaded surgery. That was the one time that you like. Feel alone. Every surgical patient now gets deep breathing and visualization training, aromatherapy, weighted blankets. I felt so good that they were there. It was like someone holding your hand, like they were my best friends. Doctors say it's more than just hand holding, it's now evolved to include training for the entire staff. From the person who's just checking your blood pressure to the nurse that's taking care of you, to the doctors that come in, even to the person that drops off the tray for your, for your meal, right? Every person understands or is at least trained to understand what that woman is going through. Adding that mindset makes a difference in outcomes. Stress and fear is a negative effect on the body. And when we're talking about taking patients to surgery and wanting the surgery to be as successful as possible, being in a calmer state truly does make a difference. Lubansky is about to calmly undergo a third surgery, and eight years out, Mather is cancer free. People have to take care of people, and um, that's. That's how you help each other heal. The Blue Angels program is unique to Glen Cove Hospital, but Mather's hope is it becomes standard operating procedure for breast cancer surgery elsewhere. In Glen Cove, Long Island, Carolyn Gossoff, CBS 2 News. Since the program began two years ago, 60 members of the Glen Cove Hospital staff have been trained to become Blue Angels.